Tillman, a couple, <coughs> couple of questions before we talk about the movie. On, on the humorous side, you know, strange things that have happened during performances. Didn't one time uh, one of the cats knock a toupee off one of the, one of the conductors? <laughs> well, that, actually, that is on our very beginning as we came to Las Vegas. Um, we, if our welcome bears, uh, like you said, you know, magic don't box in this town. And so then, he, then the owner of the hotel at the Tropicana, he told us, well, we will see after the show. So we done the show and the audience was pretty good. And then a cheetah comes out of the trunk on the stay of jumping on top of it. He jumped straight over the pit into yeah. the orchestra, orchestra pit. pit. At that time, the, the stage was built, uh, the orchestra pit, like a Broadway they had. And uh, we had this conductor, his name was Sinatra. Was small, nice, Ray Sicilian, Sinatra, yeah. Italian yeah. <laughs> guy. And of course, bump, right, dumped, he, uh, jumped in the piano, right? Yeah, Chico. Now his toupee was right down to her. Well, while, while he was going in there, <laughs> sit, hanging on his ear. But I have to tell you, the man has courage. The entire orchestra was leaving, he still was He's conducting. Still con conducting <laughs> into the uh, orchestra. It was amazing. He didn't realize the orchestra. And, he, and the cheetah was just hypnotized by the movements of his hands. I was sitting in a, a camera. Uh, and on the uh, piano, uh, yeah, on the and piano. just staring his hand. You know, but you know what? <laughs> it gave us our first standing ovation in Las Vegas. <laughs> because all the people walked forward and looked and it in. Exactly. <laughs> well, when you think of the interesting people that you've met, you, you've met presidents. Yes. Now, when you meet the President of the United States and you have tigers around, what are the Secret Service people? What are they doing? Well, I think the Secret Service people had a nightmare. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, it's a wonderful thing when you have a president, and even the vice president who also has come, uh, who are for nature, who want to do something for the new generations to leave a legacy, and therefore they were just the same in awe with what nature gave us once and we have to preserve. As you know, the white tigers and our white lions are not existing in the wild anymore. So therefore, if we're not preserving it since 20 years, this is our program. And when presidents and popes or the regular person is supporting that, the ultimate grapevine. We, we let basically the cat out of a bag. You used that before, I've had it. <laughs> okay. well, well, the question, we, we get to see uh, your home where you live with the tigers, you know, very, very fascinating place. I'm just curious, uh, with all those tigers roaming around, do you need a security service at your place or, no, or ever have a problem with burglars there? Well, would you not think that if you have white tigers, lion and leopards and, and panthers and all of them around you that you don't need any bodyguards. I think the animals are the best bodyguards. And However, we do had once a, a situation. Uh, someone in the neighborhood had burglared a house, the alarm went on, so he jumped over the walls, which are quite high, to tell you the truth, and he jumped right in to, we had two ostriches at that time. So he fall in there and they were picking at him. He sat there was out of space. He jumped on the other side of the wall back out, and he went in the middle of the street and said to the police, take me, take me. These crazy magicians, they have aliens with them. <laughs> but what happens is... But uh, you have to tell the golf course. The tell about the golf course. But tigers, they know that. Uh, but I think more is in their mind there are two magicians up there, and you never know what, what can happen. There's there. a certain a mystique about it. But we we living very close to a golf course, not direct on it, but close to it. And the golfers, when, they, when they're doing hole in one, then it, when the line roars, that's either is for them good luck, or if they miss it, then they're saying, oh, well, because the line roared. You know, so it's that. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, Shane. Oh, great. Okay.